Hi, this is Jim Clary. I'm the Senior Geek. What we're going to do today is uh, go over the basics of the um, Chrome OS interface. Uh, I'm just going to emphasize to you some of the simple things that will get you going, will get you um, working with it. Certainly we're not going to touch everything. Uh, there's some more advanced topics and you can find those on the internet, on YouTube videos, and uh, if you have access through your library, which I highly recommend you get, is a uh, a training website called Linda, L-Y-N-D-A dot com. Check your local um, library. I know we have access here in Plano, Texas through our library, and it's a wonderful, wonderful free resource. Before we get started on the details and, and looking over the user interface, I want to make sure that everybody's logged in. If you're already logged in, you can fast forward over this a little bit. Anyway, um, if you have it uh, here, you can, if you're presented with sign into your Chromebook, you'll need to enter your Gmail or Google user ID and password. Uh, again, remember there's no difference between Google and Chromebook and Gmail. Most of them are at gmail.com. If you don't have one yet, you can always go to the more options and create an account. Uh, if you're ready to log in, then um, you can you can log in there. So I'm going to go on and assume that you've logged in. If not, uh, if you're presented with this, this means you're just logging back in. Like I'm Jim Clary. I've already logged in once, set myself up as a user. So I'm going to log in and uh, we'll see you on the other end. Again, if you haven't logged in, excuse me, if you don't have an account or you haven't logged in the first time, you'll see that other screen. Okay, we'll see you as soon as we get uh, rolling here. Okay, let's take a look. And a lot of these are going to be familiar with um, you folks that have used Windows in the past. First, in the lower left, we've got something here and we either call it the shelf or the app bar. And basically what it shows are apps that are running or are pinned to it. And right now we've only got one app that's pinned to it and that is uh, the Chrome web browser. You can see it looks like this. It looks different than the one you see on Windows as far as the icon goes because this is Chrome OS which is the whole OS and this is just part of it. Um, this we'll get into later. This is a um, this is more like your start button on Windows. Okay um, then over here in the lower right hand corner you'll see you've got the time by the way if the time's not correct you can go into settings and uh, fix that and if you click on on time it brings up a control panel it would have messages if you'd have messages up here and you see you can get to your settings so for example as i said if your time wasn't correct you could simply type time up here to search for it and uh, you see here, I've got it set on Central Standard Time, but whatever your time zone would be, you could take care of it. Uh, one thing to review up here, uh, just like Windows, you get the little X's up here. You can close, uh, close the window and uh, we can close uh, settings when we're done with it. So again, lower right hand corner, if you go down here, you, um, you get... Um, settings as well as power off if you want to shut your machine down uh, you could you can do that adjust the volume um, on your speakers you can do that um, so forth and so on also sign out if you want to use a different um, uh, user okay now let's take a look at the um, what I call the start button I don't know exactly what it's called in Chrome OS but launcher excuse me it's called the launcher so we click that and that brings up all of the apps that we have installed. And of course, these are just the default ones that come from Cloud Ready. We've got Chromium, which is our, of course, our Chrome web browser. We've also got the web store. We'll go through that in a minute. And a files application. As you start adding things and going to it, you can start scrolling down to other windows. And that's what this little guy is for. Or you could also search for it up here. Okay, finally, before we get back to the uh, web store, let's go back and take a look at our Chrome OS, or excuse me, Chrome OS, our um, web browser. But I'm just going to use this to identify some neat things that can be done. Up here, you're, if you're Windows, you're very familiar with the stuff at the, upper, um, at the upper part, upper right of an app. This minimizes it. 
This is a little bit different. I'll go back over this little guy in a minute. And this one, of course, closes it. Um, what's neat about this one, you can certainly use it to minimize and to maximize. But in Chrome OS, if you push down, you see you get two arrows, a right and a left. What that allows you to do is to pin it to the left side or the right side of the screen, as I've done here. If you want to go on the other side, you can simply pin it to the other side. And this allows you to run multiple windows at the same time, which I know even on your iPad, unless you got the, the really fancy ones, you can't do. And let's go into something. I'll show you how this can be very useful. And that is have two tabs open within uh, your web browser at the same time because sometimes you're looking at something on one side and you want to know about it in the other and you don't want to flip back and forth. Um, we can do that by we go back down here to Chrome. We don't just want to open up a new tab because if we open up just a new tab you still can't split them because if you then go into the split of course it's going to have both tabs on it. Um, what you can do here is um, rather than open it up as a tab, let's go back down to our, our launcher here, or our, our um, app tray, and right click on it, and that brings up uh, different options for this one, and we can go new window. So we go new window, and you see now we can then, once we do that, since it's a new window, not a new tab, now we've got two versions of it running, and we can pin one over here, then we can pin the other one to the left. And now you see you've got two Googles. So this one we could go like news. And you get to see the news here. And here we could go weather. Anyway, just a handy little, oops, I can't type, but that's okay. Uh, search for weather. Make it look better. And then if you want the full screen again, you could go full screen. Then if you want to go back to the double, you could um, go back this way. So that's kind of a handy thing. It's a, a pretty powerful um, thing, I think, on Chrome OS that you don't get in your um, that you don't get in your iPad. Okay, we've taken care of the buttons up here. Take care of the buttons here. Um, that's really about it as far as navigating it, navigating the um, Chrome OS interface. I'll have another one that will talk about the store and. Uh, We'll go through some things with that. Oh, one of the other things you can do is you can pin, just like you can do the taskbar on um, Windows. If you wanted to pin them to the, um, what do they call it, the app shelf? I can't, either the shelf or app bar, you can click on something like files and you can say pin to shelf. And now they'll show up down here. Um, now they're now they'll show up down here. I'm not going to go over files. That's an advanced uh, thing in the apps that you can get from other places. Again, we were just trying to do the basics. So again, the basics, you got your app shelf here. And if it sees a little white dot down here, that means it's running. Because, of course, we're running Chrome. If we want to close Chrome so it wasn't running anymore, Chrome Web Browser, see the app, the little white dot disappeared. So you got your um, shelf here of either running programs or programs that you've pinned. You've got over here your launcher, and that launches and shows you all your installed apps. Takes care of that. And then the lower right, you've got the um, system, I guess you'd call it, bar, where you can lock things. You can, you can do lots of nice things with uh, and get to settings. Anyway, it takes care of that. Um, enjoy, and uh, I'll have a few more videos that will go and dive into some information on the App Store. And then we'll have another one on how to run Office, Microsoft Office on Chromebook. Anyway, thank you for your attention. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And I uh, would also appreciate any comments that you have. And don't forget to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Senior Geek, so you'll be notified as we post new videos. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Take care now.